a long time to work out the different mixtures for different fuels. And how can you get the oxygen in with the fuel so that rather than going bang, it goes Because what we're trying to do is control our burning. Now, I don't know if I've got a slide up there that I can get. Let's see if we can get this back again. We should have one there. Can you advance that one, please? Let's see what we've got there. Uh, yes. So, uh, deflagration or detonation. Now, th those are the common terms, we recognise them. To be more scientific, we mean, does it go whoomph? <laughs> or, technically, scientifically, does it go back? <laughs> if it burns slowly enough, it goes whoomph. It's nearly a bang, it's a whoomph. Um, and a whoomph is a very fast burn. And we call that a deflagration. If it goes so fast it goes out of control, that is a bang. And by getting our mixtures right, we can control which one we have. Now in here, I have got a mixture of fuel and oxygen. If you hold that for me, you're holding a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> or are you? Have I got my mixture right? Will it be a deflagration or a detonation? Detonation. How do we know? How do we find out? <laughs> Set fire to it. <laughs> if you could just ask the lid now, please. No, don't do <laughs> That would be dangerous. Uh, I'm going to make it a bit safer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ignite it with a little spark. Just a little spark here. There's, there's a little spark. It's a tiny barbecue spark. That should be enough to cause this to ignite. Now this is the tricky bit. I need to open that and get the bung in without pressing the spark. And this is just like a Mark I version, so it's a bit <laughs> I get quite anxious in this part of this one. Uh, actually, I say I get bit, I've never done this before. <laughs> I hope it works. Take that off. Put that in. And then, we've got fuel, we've got oxygen, and this is our ignition here, the little spark. Oh and we've got the wrong glove, Dr. Von Hill. There we go. Let's see, uh, which way should I fire? What's the best angle for launch? Up! Oh, brilliant! Up is definitely... You don't see many rockets fired down. What I was on, up was a good guess. Anyone want to be a bit more precise in degrees? 20. 20, alright. 40, who said 45? Go to the top of the class. Yeah, there we go. And that way, 45 degrees, if you're a mathematician, you can work out that that is the best angle to fire it to get the furthest distance. Uh, there's other things, there's all the math they had to do to work stuff out. But once they worked that stuff out, they were able then to use their knowledge of fire to start sending things into space. They started small. Do you know what the first beings were into space? No. <coughs> Sorry? Those of us in the Armstrong were definitely members of the animal kingdom. <laughs> However, they were being quite substantially by some other animals. No, was it a dog? Before the Russian dog, there were other animals which went up into space. Monkeys. Before the monkeys. I don't know. This. Sorry. Ants. Ants could have gone into space. That's a very valid point. Who said a chicken? Well done. It's a great answer. A chicken and a sheep. And a duck. <laughs> now, some people might argue they weren't actually proper in space, but what happened? When that hot air balloon went up into space, they didn't know what would happen to human beings up in space. Up there, that was space to them. And so they thought, who should we put up? The King of France said we should put criminals in because they're bad. 
But even then, they were humane enough to say, no, we're not putting crims in. We're going to put something as close to a human being as possible that is not a human being. Now, at that point, in France, they did not have chimpanzees. Their next best shot was a sheep. They figured, quite scientifically, that sheep can't fly. Humans can't fly, ipso facto, very similar. They popped the sheep in the basket. They then went to do some tests. What about animals that could fly? So they put a duck with the sheep. And then what about an even better test? Something in the middle. Sort of can, but can't fly. A chicken. And that is why we have a duck, a sheep, a chicken. And they were the first animals to go, or at least take off from Earth, back in 1783. Anyway, years later, other animals did get blasted off into rockets, and I now am going to set Dr. Bonhead's first animal into space. The choice is, who do I send? Shall we send criminals? Yeah. Shall we send a stump hamster? Yeah. Shall we send Bob Squid Pants Sponge? Yeah. Hands up for SpongeBob's Pants Square. Hands up for. Hamster! That's a close one, isn't it? Well, let's, let's see, let's get um, old Bob Sponge Square, Square Bobs. Yeah. Now, before he goes into space, he needs a little bit of protection, so I'm just going to give him a bit of water and protection. There you go, Bob. Oh, he's having a little wee. Are you finished, Bob? No, oh, I am still having a wee. Just carry on, about to ring him out there. Now, of course, he's, where are you going? You go to the toilet for a wee or a poo. <laughs> and when you come back, if it's a poo, tell me where it floats or where it sits. It's a science experiment. <laughs> we have SpongeBob's bazooka. <laughs> and we're going to launch upon Bob Sponge into the bazooka. Uh, let's put him head first. <laughs> So we're going to send Stunt Dolly. <laughs> now Stunt Dolly here hasn't got any brains, so we've replaced her brains with shaving foam. <laughs> like this. And this is going to be... Oh, we've got a bit... Yee! Yeah. 